Thank you for your assistance, Mr. Narakot. Everything and everyone nicely in place. I must say, I don't much like these clouds. I expect you should be heading back without delay. Now it begins. Don't worry, Fred. I won't let you down. Oh, just a drizzle. It's going to get much worse. I wonder who would have done such a thing. Mr. Naraka, why are you still on the island? Someone scuttled my boat. Scuttled? Wrecked, you mean? But who on earth would do such a thing? I intend to find out. But that means, who will come for us on Monday? Unless this storm lets up, no one. Dear me, dear me. Come in, come in. You'll catch your death out here. I must help my wife prepare dinner. I'll have her fix you up something in the kitchen. Thank you. Where he's going to sleep, I'll never know. Ethel won't like this one bit. Fresh flowers. Quite pretty. I can't see anything of interest. Place for everything and everything in its place. The storm is kicking up something fierce. Besides, my time would be better used snooping around inside at the moment. Can't open it. It's locked. It would certainly be noticed if I rifled through his luggage. I better not. Nothing out of order in here. 
I'd best not take anything, though. I'm sure he would notice. I'd best not take that. He might need it and would certainly notice its absence. Can't open it. It's locked. Locked. I can't open it. It's locked. is locked. An upstairs-downstairs type of thing, I imagine. You're shot, Judge. Yes. You haven't left me much, I confess. I knew judges listened to confessions. I never knew they made them as well. Oh, some judges may have cause. Some doctors as well, I expect. May I interrupt for a moment? I take it you don't play snooker, Mr. Narakot. Otherwise you'd know you should be as still as Lot's wife. May I ask you a question? Not now, man. Can't you see we're busy? Not that I'd want to play, even if there was time. I've no talent for the game whatsoever. It's got power, but it still doesn't seem to be working. Locked. It's locked fast. Locked. It's an albatross. I can't say I'm particularly fond of the painting. The subject matter doesn't interest me.
I shouldn't do that. I need to have my wits about me. is locked. An upstairs-downstairs type of thing, I imagine. It'll never work, I tell you. We should never have agreed. A house party only a week after we arrive? And no other help? Ethel, calm yourself. You promised me. Never again, you said. How was I to know? Oh, ah, Mr. Narricott. Uh, Ethel will be preparing you a meal in here once the guests are served. Mr. Rogers, I was wondering if I might have a word. Perhaps you'd find one of the guests with more free time to chat. None of them are doing any work. It's a sturdy cast iron stove. Would you just look at all these silk sheets? All embroidered GS. I'll bet that was that actress who used to live here. But I've dropped them on this filthy floor. Can I give you a hand, Mrs. Rogers? Thank you, Mr. Narricott. You seem like a good sort. I'm sorry for your boat. I can't think what Mr. Rogers would say if dinner was late. I'm much too busy to gossip just now. It's tightly locked. I can't open it. It's locked.
My wife is indisposed, uh, not receiving visitors today. Your wife, sir? What? Your wife? My wife, yes. Leslie. Oh, I'm sorry, my boy. I was wool gathering miles away. My apologies. <coughs> Must dress for dinner now. Send my orderly to me, if you will. I... No, 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 that's not right. What was I thinking? I must get ready for dinner now. Oh, Mr. Narcot, I thought that you'd left us. Someone scuttled my boat. Oh, but that's dreadful. Surely the harbour master will send another boat when you're missed. Not in this storm, I'm afraid. And even then, it won't be reported. Why ever not? My brother. He knew I might not be immediately back. I'm terribly sorry for your trouble. The Owens should be arriving shortly. I'm sure you can get a ride back in that boat. If you'll excuse me, I must get ready for dinner. Narakot? I thought you'd be long gone by now. That storm's getting pretty fierce. Somebody scuttled my boat. I saw Blore watching you like a hawk eyes its dinner. Could it have been him? Possibly. Any idea why? I'd rather not say. Suit yourself. I'd better get ready for dinner. This clock has stopped. Polished marble spheres and some books. Nothing worth investigating further. Once a bent copper, always a bent copper. Right, Fred? You're talking through your hat. You were the Purcell gang's inside man on the force, not my brother. Your brother? Don't try to kid me, Fred. There's still a handsome reward out for you. Fred is my brother. I'm Patrick Fane. No reason for me to believe you that I can see. There's still a big reward out for Fred Fane. You scuttled my boat to trap me here. You recognized me too. I saw it in your eyes. Only because Davis showed Fred the passenger list yesterday. I came in my brother's place. We didn't think you might mistake me for him. Fred is eight years older than me. Look closely, Blor. You do look young. I noticed that. Thought it must be the sea air. You were taking the Purcells' bribes for years. After the Landor case, people began to ask questions. The Purcells needed what the Yank detective novels call a fall guy. My brother was framed. You were in the clear. Your whole story sounds like a detective novel. I've never stopped trying to clear Fred's name and put you in Dartmoor prison where you belong. Thanks to your greed, I may now have that chance. Maybe you're Patrick, maybe you're Fred. I don't know, and I don't much care. You're either a criminal, or you've been harboring one all these years. I wonder what my fellow guests will think of that. Go on, Mr. Narricot. Hop it. I need to prepare for dinner. Leave before I remove you myself. Tile and marble. Quite expensive from the look of it. I can't open it. It's locked.
May I ask you a question? Not now, man. Can't you see we're busy? Locked. The refrigerator hardly seems large enough for a house of this size. <laughs> 